right, so here's our next problem. We want to construct a truth table for the following statement. Okay, notice the direction says they want an entire truth table. So the first thing I'm going to look is I'm going to look at my statement and figure out how many simple statements I have. Well, in this case, I have a P and I have a Q. So it's going to be a truth table with two simple statements, which we've already discussed. You set up in the following standard form. So under P, two trues followed by two falses, and under Q, you alternate true-false. The way I do truth tables is just write down the truth values underneath each one of my parts and then work it out. Okay, so I'm going to start just like in math with my parentheses here. And the first statement I have here is P. So under P, I'm going to put the value of P at each line here. Okay, and I'm going to write them a little small so that I, you know, it's just my first step. So under P, I know that P is true, true, false, false. So I'm going to put true, true, false, false. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to look at in my parentheses is my not Q. Well, not Q says to take Q and take its opposite. So Q was true, false, true, false. So not Q is going to be false, true, false, true. Now, my next step inside my parentheses is to OR these two statements. Now remember the rule for OR. If there's a true, it's true. All right, so in this first line, there's a true. There's a true. No true. And here's a true. Okay? So what I just wrote here, true, true, false, true, is the solution to what's in my parentheses. Now, I'm going to use that with Q over here. All right, well, we got plain old Q, which I know is true, false, true, false. So now for the biconditional, okay, which is my last step here, I need the biconditional. I'm going to take the column under Q, and my solution column in my parentheses over here, which is this one. So my if and only if is going to be between these two columns. Now, remember the rule for the biconditional. If they're the same, it's true. Well, true if and only if true, true. False if and only if true, false. True if and only if false. False, if and only if true, false. So my answer here is this final column where I had true followed by three falses. Okay, and to indicate that, if I'm doing this by hand on my paper, I'm just going to put a box around my answer. All right, so same directions here. Construct a truth table. For this statement and when I look at this statement I notice I have a P, I have a Q, and I have an R. So it's going to be my basic setup of a three statement truth table and we've seen that that one is eight lines and under P you have four trues, four falses, Q, two trues, two falses, two trues, two falses, and finally under R you alternate. And this will give you every combination of truth values for P, Q, and R. Okay, so I'm going to start this problem again, just like I did before. I'm going to start inside my parentheses. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at not Q. Okay, well, remember that Q is two trues, two falses, two trues, two falses. So not Q is going to be exactly the opposite of that, which would be false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. And notice that I wrote those a little small because it's just my first step. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at is R. R is just a plain old R, and we know that he alternates 
between true and false. Okay. So my next step here is to go ahead and take these two columns and apply the or to them. And remember the rule for or, if there's a true, it's true. All right, so I'm just gonna go down the column. There's a true, it's true. No true, so it must be false. And just continue in that same fashion down the tape. All right, and again, remembering the rule, if there's a true, it's true. All right, my next step here then, now that I've finished my column for the parentheses, is I need to figure out what P is. Well, we already know what P is. It's four trues followed by four falses. And then for my very last step, I need to apply this and, and I'm gonna apply it between the column for my P and the answer column to my or. Now remember the rules for and, if there's a false, it's false. All right, so true and true would be true, true and false, and continue in the same manner. And this is my answer. All right, next problem, construct a truth table for this statement. Okay, again, I've looked at my statement and seen that I have a P, a Q, and an R, and I set up my basic truth table that has three statements. All right, again, start with the parentheses, P and Q. All right, so I know that P is four trues followed by four falses. And I know that Q is two trues, two falses, two trues, two falses. And I want to take those two columns and I want to and them together. Remember the rule for and. If there's a false, it's false. So true and true, true and true. And then these are false because there's a false. All right, so now I'm done with the parentheses. Now I gotta look at what I have over here, and I have not R. Well, we know R alternates, so not R will alternate starting with false. So now I've got my column, which is my answer, to my parentheses, I've got my column, which is my not R, and I want to put these together with a by con, uh, a conditional. Sorry. Now remember the rule for the conditional. The only time it's false is when you have true followed by false. All right. So I'm going to look down these two columns and see when I have true followed by false. All right. I've got it right there. So that one's going to be false. Okay, let's see if I have true followed by false anywhere else. Nope, so the rest of these must be truth. Okay, and that's my answer.